everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kirial and today I'm doing something a little bit different. I don't know if I want to do it. <laughs> I'm questioning everything right now. Today I'm going to be venturing back onto my old YouTube booty channel and I'm going to be recreating my first ever tutorial that I did on that. Neither you or I am prepared for this. <laughs> this video first went up in 2012, so it's been a good six years. I've developed as a person, I've developed my face. <laughs> my skills have gone a lot better. I hope to friggin' God that they have. It was just a, a different time, different time on YouTube for one. YouTube was a lot different back then. This isn't a new thing. I've seen a few people do this. I think Soph Does Nails did this on her YouTube channel. I can't remember exactly. I think the Taylor might have done it as well, but I wanted to go down memory lane. And, uh, well, I don't know if I really want to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> just forewarning. When I was 18, I didn't dye my eyebrows. I didn't pluck my eyebrows. I didn't do my eyebrows. <laughs> and yeah, it was pretty basic with my whole makeup routine. So this is going to be quite different to what I do now. <laughs> you know what? Let's go. Suck it up, Curiel. Let's... You've changed. You're a different person. You've got better eyebrows. <laughs> I'm going to scooch over this way so I can put the video here even though I really don't want to show you. This video is all private, okay? Like, it's that bad? It's that bad. Let's start this baby up, I guess. <laughs> this is 22 minutes long. Why is this so long, girl? Oh, also, I was using an older camera which was a Lumix G2. You can tell I've up my game with my editing because I was using iMovie when I created this and I didn't know that you could fill the screen. I just inputted the video into the program and it automatically wrote the ratio which was smaller than what its potential was because I could have put it up to like 720p but this is like downscaled so it's like a little square in the middle of the screen. Oh my god. Okay, let's uh, let's get this started. I can't, I can't avoid it anymore. Ooh, there's an, there's an intro. <laughs> That, that iMovie intro though, that classic iMovie text intro. Hey everybody, oh, today I'm doing an everyday makeup tutorial. I also had braces. Again, this was a completely different time. There wasn't very many standards for YouTube and I didn't have a background. Um, in fact, my background was always a mess because my room is still always a mess, but even my little lamb there, like, hmm. This is an 18 year old girl, sheltered girl. Okay, I was completely sheltered. I get so nervous, I can't speak. I was a sheltered child, okay. I just I just had Disney movies as my refuge. Okay, anyway. anyway, I'm making excuses. I was 18 and I should have known better than those eyebrows. Too far apart, girl. What are you been doing, shaving them off? I never got them waxed, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's happening there. First off, I'm really sorry about this mess. You should be. <laughs> um, I've just like come home from work. I went from work to look at cars with my parents, so I just <laughs> haven't had time to style it or anything. Girl, who, who cares? They don't need to know the life story. Let's just skip through this a little bit. I hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll see you in my next one, which should be a spring look. Okay. Although I am, I am sort of. Oh my god, there's no, there's no proper editing in this. <laughs> You guys are lucky because I like take out all the ums, uh, 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 you know, all the thought process between me speaking in this. I, I mean, I didn't even bother. <laughs> it's probably because editing on iMovie was difficult. It didn't give you a lot of things to do, so that's probably why, but still, man, man. I apply any foundation or anything. I tone and then use my aloe vera gel. Ooh, the toner I that I still. I still wrap the aloe vera gel. I still love this stuff. This saved my skin when I was younger. I used to have like acne and this is the only thing that really saved it. So that's why I still love this stuff. I use is Pure Active Spot Pure I love toner. that toner. I it was really good. So I love good. harsh things on the skin. But it just I don't recommend it. it for sensitive skin because I think it'd be too harsh. Ooh, ooh making recommendations. So, yeah, but it works for my skin. I do agree sense. though. I agree, Kiriel. It wouldn't be good for sensitive skin. Why are you using... I'm using tissue to tone my face. Oh Usually my God. I would use a cotton pad, but oh. I've actually run out, so oh. that's the only reason why I'm using tissue. I really like using tissue. Good, good, girl, good, 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 good. Is there anybody else getting hot in here? Was <laughs> it just me? Then I move on to aloe vera gel, which if we watch Okay, so we can finally get started. Videos, you know I, love. I just pop a little 
pea sized amount into Girl, that was more like than a that. pea. <laughs> and then I rub it into the skin. I kind of like rub it all over my hands now, and but I'm just gonna copy what, she's do what previous Kiriel is doing. And down the neck. Down the neck, girl, you should be rubbing up, not down. The foundation I'm using at the moment is, this is so slow. Rimmel. No wonder it's 22 minutes. Like, I'm speaking so slow, and I don't even know why. <laughs> foundation, I think. Bit mucky because I just used it. Well, I used it earlier on. Of course, and that's why it looks like that. It's because you've never cleaned it. That's why it looks like that. No detail is too dark for my skin. Yep. So I'm really searching for a foundation that's good for my skin tone. Welcome to 2018, girl. You have your options now. The future is bright. I don't actually have that foundation anymore, obviously, because it's too dark for my skin. So why would I use that now? Depending how I apply it, depends what kind of foundation I'm going to use. So I'm hoping to get on. the. Is it the infallible one? Can't remember who buy though. Do you mean this one? But yeah, I'm hoping to get that because I've heard a lot of good reviews about that for pale skin. This one's too dark for me as well, so I don't really want to use this one either. Base. Oh, oh. Just go straight yes, on in with the pump on my face. Me for doing this. <laughs> yeah, they, they probably would. <laughs> You know what, I used to use collection a lot back in the day, so I'm gonna use this foundation. I'm gonna go in with the same technique as she did. I keep speaking as if she's not me. I feel like it's not me because I've changed so much in six years. Oh, this feels so wrong. How, how do you control how much product you put on like this? And she put it like by here. What's going on with that? <laughs> now what do I blend it with? I use the Real Technique Stippling Brush, which <laughs> <laughs> don't you just love how I didn't edit that out? I don't think I have that brush anymore. So I don't have the stippling brush and the closest thing that I do actually have is the Y6 by Morphe. So I'm going to be using this to apply my foundation. And I just buff this oh. into the skin. Oh, okay. I'm literally just doing like circular motions right now. It doesn't look that bad when I uh, rub it in but really in real life, I look quite orange. <laughs> Great. I really don't like doing this. I feel like it's moving the product everywhere. These days, I would like pat it in like this because it's just a better blend, but uh, I am like, this is so rough on my skin. I do not agree with doing this right now and I don't suggest doing this. Right uh, I got it in my hand, no. Also with this, I, I can see I'm just looking at myself in the viewfinder that is like so cringy. <laughs> Mainly to see if I was in like frame and stuff, but just screaming at myself right now like stop looking at yourself. Oh, she's going over the eyelids as well. My skin has gone a lot more combo these days, so like spreading foundation like this without priming. I didn't prime. It's just a bit rough, so it doesn't spread out as nicely. That's as blended as this get in anyway with that technique. So this foundation, I really don't like it because it makes my face look so shiny. She's not recommended the foundation that she just used all over her face. That's uh, that's when you know you're broke, when you're using what you got. Lina, if you watch my videos, you would see this and I'm just using... Wait, so use girl, you're not doing concealer? You're just moving straight into eyeliner? Why is this video so long? If, if you just move it out to eyeliner, like what's, go what's going on? Oh, there's that beauty YouTuber but coming through. True. It was very cheap. I'll try and zoom in now to make sure you get a good view of it. Okay, oh. so you guys oh. can sort of see my eyes. Girl, I can't, I can't see nothing. I'm doing this best I can so you can see. Those eyebrows. At least I know I've had an eyebrow glow up. If I know that much, I know that my eyebrows look so much better than they did back then. My mother never let me do my eyebrows when I was younger, so I didn't know any better, okay? Well, not the inner corner, like middle. I start from different points at different eyes, so oh. just ignore me. It's because we got so. two different eye shapes, girl. She's just going straight in. I can't believe I'm going straight in with friggin' eyeliner. Making a thin line. Okay, we're getting a thin line. I barely wear eyeliner anymore, so this is a challenge for me right now. Once I've like reached this end point here, like I make the start of the line, I close my eye and start the like out. Oh, I've done my eyeliner a little thicker than she's done hers. <laughs> Honestly, I was probably better at doing eyeliner back then than I am now because I never do it anymore. I just kind of stick with eyeshadow because I feel like it's too harsh on my eyes. My eyes aren't that big and it makes them look so much smaller. And I used to think it made them look bigger because I just did a wing, but no, it, it just makes my eyes look smaller. And she said, close your eye and then 
Oh, I did it a bit bigger than, than she did, but it's fine. So I've done my wing, and then you just bring it on back. Okay. I'm gonna quickly do my other eye off camera. My eyeliner's all done. I they are so stark compared to all the rest of my face. Like, because I've just gone straight in with eyeliner, I just look, I look crazy right now. Okay, like trying to ass curler that no, clearly she's... needs cleaning. <laughs> Great. I rarely curl my eyelashes now, I'll be honest. Scandalous. Scandalous. Um, scandalous. Oh, you're ready twice and you still couldn't say it right. It's scandal eyes. So I no longer have that mascara. I don't even know if they make that anymore, but I'm gonna use the Lash Sensational from Maybelline. Doing the wiggle technique though, which is good. I can't believe I just put lower mascara on and I haven't even got concealer on yet. Like what the hell is going on? So that's my eyes done completely. That's more or less all I do for every day. I don't bother with like eyeshadow and things. Sometimes I will put a white eyeliner, but I'm not gonna do that today. Oh, not even for the video. Now you're gonna bother. Okay, so now the Ooh, foundation sort of set. I'm gonna go ahead and start bronzing with a bronzer. That hey, bronzer, Br bronzer. Yes, because that's what we really want to do. Don't even want to try concealing and or. Anything we haven't even powdered. I'm literally so offended right now, and I didn't know I was this bad. I thought it was okay N No, I have learned so much in six years This one as the that I just picked up because Asda. I never really tried bronzer before this brush that I use seems amazing with blending and That looks like a buffing brush. I've been using a buffing brush for bronzer. Oh my god, it is a perfect brush. Do you know how much product that puts on? Why would you want your bronzer to be that pigmented? <laughs> I hate this video so much. Well, good news everybody, I do have this brush still. And I actually did go into Asda the other day and pick up a bronzer. I don't know if it's actually from Asda's brand. I don't even know if they had a brand back then. But I picked up this bronzer to try because I thought it looked like a good shade. It's the Matte Diva Bronzer by George. So. Might as well try it in this video. What do we do with this thing, girl? With, with this. Back it off. Okay. In my hand so, so went. Put a lot on there, and then. Oh, she did the fishy face. And she's patting it on, and then buffing it in. Okay. I think what I'm using there is a lot more pigmented than this right now. Plus, I'm taking advantage of the hand thing and taken a lot of the product off because this this is a buffing brush i would use this with like cream bronzer fair enough this is a powder product and i would not use this for a subtle bronze i like the movements i'm doing though i'm like <laughs> because the color's so in your face i tap it on and then rub it in oh that's what we're doing okay i to bring it down quite far and that's it for the cheek wait what and that was it for the cheeks <laughs> There's no blush or nothing. And I just put it by here. I didn't put it around my forehead, nothing. I literally just, I just did this. <laughs> As I was saying before my camera cut out on me. Oh, um, it mine still does that. I don't use blush because I think it makes me look doll-like. So I don't really- Only look doll-like if you're applying them with a brush like this and you go like this because, oh my God, I just, I'm done. <laughs> Going into brows. Um, I oh, I'm doing brows. I didn't think I did brows. This was a Reels Tech, well, it is a Reels Technique brow and lash brush, but it broke off as a. This video is like the biggest mess I think I've ever watched in my entire life. What am I doing? Why am I showing that on camera? Why didn't I just say I brushed my eyebrows off camera? Oh, I had to show you. It's just, it's just someone else. This is someone else. Okay, I'm gonna use a spoolie because I'm not a heathen. Then I take a brow pencil, which. It's almost finished. I think I may have this brow pencil, a new one, obviously. Um, I'm just gonna have a quick look. Okay, I, <laughs> I think I found it. I'm not quite sure if this is the same one, but I'm pretty sure this is the kind of packaging that it was in. And this is years old. I don't know why I still have this. It's too dark. I need sharpening, but I just I can't be bothered to find my sharpener. But right I now. need to sharpen this so girl. I'm this just gonna not gonna work. What are you doing? You're just drawing a line over them. Is that a is that all you're doing? You're just drawing a line? Okay. Uh, okay. I'm literally just doing this. I'm gonna brush up in the front to make it more natural. Okay. Doing brush strokes. Mm-hmm. Brush again and brush through it. 
Okay, so, okay. Oh, you're going this way? Why are you going this way? So, this is giving me anxiety. Not doing my brows properly. <laughs> Let me just remind you, I had blonde eyebrows. I was going over them with a brown pencil and I thought that was fine. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad for you. Oh. Then I powder my face with a translucent. Oh, I do use powder. But why so late on, girl? I don't have 2000. the Collection 2000 one. The most affordable one that I've got is the and RCMA, so I'll just use this one for now. I do have this same brush. brush. <laughs> I put the RCMA in the lid here. Of the excess. Obviously, mate always goes everywhere. Okay. Do so on my T zone and still kind of do this. Cheeks by here because I tend to get oily. Dab in it. Here. So if I'm going okay. to work, I won't wear a lipstick. I'll just sort of put a lip balm on and that'll be it. Maybe Vaseline or something. If I'm going out during the day, I go for a little bit more extreme. I like colors and stick, which is in my haul if you haven't seen it. I'll that, that plug though, that plug for your other video. <laughs> yes, girl. Oh my god, I remember this lipstick. Um, I remember actually getting that from Superdrug and it was by a brand that I don't see there anymore. I can't remember what it's called, but oh my god, I was obsessed with that lipstick and I wanted it for ages. And I remember going in and buying it and being very happy with myself. <laughs> but basically what I've been doing is I've been using this. This is a base. A base? Oh my it's god. Very pigmented. I don't think I said that right. What the hell did I say? It's very pigmented. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What did you say? Pigmented. <laughs> I need to find a bright pink lipstick, which I don't even know if I have one. I'm pretty sure I might have a MAC one, but I don't have that one anymore for sure. Okay, the only thing that I kind of have that is similar is Notice Me by MAC, but it's more purple and also very broken. So it looks like we're going in with Notice Me, which is a luster, so it's not going to be that pigmented either. I I'm sorry, it's not going to be that pig pigmented as <laughs> that one was. I'm mean, like, I think clashing colours just look great. No, they don't. For this season. It's called clashing for a reason. This is one of these six that make your teeth look so yellow. You see what I mean? To tone it down to make it slightly more natural. Oh, we're toning it down, thank God. <laughs> Rimmel's lipstick, which is in 206 nude pink. I don't have that again. I don't think I do. Something that may be kind of similar is Velvet Teddy, so I'm gonna go over the top of this. I don't know how this is gonna work though, because this is a matte and this is a luster, so we'll see how this turns out. It's probably gonna be a slippery mess. I'm just going over the top, man, to tone it down a bit, you know? I actually don't mind this. This is a pretty color. That's <laughs> what I do for my lips during the day. But yeah, that's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you got like a few tips of me that you could take home and try new things. Max on the top of my list to get, and I'm waiting for my, ne my next pay packet to start collecting the lipsticks because that's clearly Aww. one of my obsessions. Girl. I love wearing lipsticks. Isn't that so funny? Because now I'm like wrapping MAC lipstick in this video. Oh, that's so cute. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Oh, that finished there with the, with the script just rolling up the screen saying thanks for watching. Um, whoa, that was, uh, that was something. <laughs> okay guys, so this is the finished look. Oh god, it's transferred onto my lid. Oh no. As you can see, I have changed a lot <laughs> throughout the years um, for the better, I like to think. Back in the day, this was a normal thing. There was no baking, there was no contouring, really. There was no highlighting. Apart from in the actual makeup industry, this wasn't a thing in people's day-to-day -day lives and we've come so far with makeup. I mean, clearly, look at my face right now. I am so glad that I've learned so much and I find it so funny that I do now have a load of makeup, a load of product to choose from. Granted, it's not through YouTube, but I've managed to get to the point where I can buy all those things that I wanted to. Yeah, I didn't want to get deep in this video, and it's still not deep. Like, it's only, you know, surface deep because it's just makeup. And at the end of the day, when I was younger, I wasn't a makeup artist. I still am not a makeup artist. I just have learned so much in that time frame. I used to get bullied when I was in school and when I started my YouTube channel it was like a massive thing to do. I remember I got bullied in work because of it and um, yeah I but I just loved it and I'm so glad that like I kind of stuck with it and I started anew and I just carried on learning and carried on practicing and if you want to do stuff like this you've got to start from somewhere and I'm glad that I decided to continue it and to people who used to you know poke 
fun at me at work and girl it got it got like rough like they were like calling me at like two o'clock in the morning just taking the mick out of me and I probably deserved it because I was not good at makeup back then but it was just something I love to do it was definitely a place of refuge and a place to come to when I wasn't feeling my best I still come here for that like in a way I still love when watching YouTube videos and things I do feel like it's changed so much on YouTube and it's a lot more drama central like I can't escape from the drama anymore it's just like suggested like everywhere I go if you want a video that like talks deeply about that and what YouTube used to be I'd suggest checking out Raw Beauty Christie's video she went in so deep like I love her so much she's just like such a down-to-earth person and I relate to her a lot in some weird way but she's one of my favorites here on YouTube because she's just real she doesn't dive into the drama I'm gonna leave a link to her video below and in the cards if I can. I hope you guys enjoyed this video anyway. I just wanted to go back to the beginning of why I started YouTube and what it was like when I first started. I hope you guys support and like the new skills that I've gained through just practicing. I hope you could see improvement <laughs> from that video. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you liked it. Also click the little bell button if you want to be notified when I upload and I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. I shall see you on the next one. Bye guys! Thank you.